to another Thomas Haney Hacks video. In this video, I'm going to outline some basic things you can do with your planner to make your plan easier to understand. I've already filled out my plan as you can see, so if you're not sure how to do this, please go back and watch the first video. There are a couple things on this page you might not be familiar with, such as the section at the bottom of the page or at the top right there. When I have a set block or an open, I like to use highlighters to try and figure out where I put my blocks. I use yellow for all my opens. This is so that I can tell the difference between opens and sets. Here you can see I'm using my highlighter and I'm going to highlight only the open blocks. You can pick any colors you want. I usually use yellow for my open blocks because it's a bright color and it sticks out. If you are in um, an older grade, like grade 9, 10, or 11, even grade 12, you're going to have a lot of open blocks. So you're probably going to want to use another color so that you can differentiate between opens and sets. Because once you highlight everything, you're definitely going to see that the lines look the same. And you don't want to accidentally not go to a class. So if you take another color, I usually use blue, you can go over your set blocks and then you'll know for sure where you're supposed to be at what time and whether it's a set or a great hall contact. When you're filling out your plan, you really want to make sure that you have at least two open blocks with your teacher because you have to actually see your teacher three times a week just like in a normal school except at Thomas Haney you do it in an open block instead of having three set classes. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to properly use your homework section at the bottom of the page under the, your TA sign out slot. Earlier today I had French project due and I also worked on math and chemistry. So my teacher in math class assigned me some new homework. So right under my TA slot where my TA is supposed to sign my planner, I'm going to write what homework I have. I know that I've got to work on learning guide 10. I usually abbreviate learning guide LG because you don't have very much space there. And since it's high school, you're gonna have a lot of homework, so you're gonna to wanna to try and write as small as possible. You also wanna be specific. You can see here in a couple seconds that I didn't just write learning guide 10, I also put what expectation I was working on. Because your TA is supposed to help you keep on track, they wanna know where you are in your learning guides. So I had a whole bunch of homework today. I also had chemistry. So I'm gonna be writing chemistry underneath. But you can see there that I wrote expectation four is due and that I put a reminder to take my test. These are important things to do not only for your, for your TA, but also for your family in case they wanna see what you're working on and make sure that you're on track. Up above your weekly goals, there's another section for writing down things that you're going to do during the week. In my weekly goals, I've already told myself that I wanna to go to the student council meeting on Wednesday. That's a spot up there that I can write all my club stuff and different things for during the week. I know that I've got Eco Action Monday. I've also written down another reminder about my student council meeting in Mr. Connolly's room on Wednesday. And I also know that I've got Pen Pal Club on Fridays at lunch, so I can write that up there. Another thing that you wanna make sure you do is fill out your weekly goals. I finished my French project and I asked about yearbook. So it's important to know what I'm gonna do. I'm going to fill out the rest of my week and then I'll show you what it's supposed to look like. Your week should look something like this. Another trick you can do with highlighters is highlighting your set blocks so you know when you can make appointments and when you can. This is page 40. This is my teacher schedule. I've highlighted all my teacher's blocks with blue. If you also look at page 41, both of these pages I explained in my last video by the way, you can see that this is my schedule. I look at my schedule and go back to page 40 and I highlighted all of my set blocks in blue so that I don't accidentally make an appointment when I've got a class. That's about it. Thanks for watching.